Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Inner Life Boxing Dummy, also known as the Boxing Bob. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm gonna do a close-up of this Inner Life Boxing Dummy. This is basically the version of the Century Boxing Bob. The only difference is it doesn't come with a plastic water or sand filled base. This one actually utilizes a steel L bracket with a compression spring. It obviously comes with the boxing bob itself or the boxing dummy, which is all rubberized to kind of give it more of a lifelike feel. And then it has the little piece for down there that mounts to the top of this compression spring. It comes with these instructions that are, I believe this thing is actually made in China, but it comes with these Pretty crappy install instructions. That doesn't really even give you the size of drill to use. It just shows you pictures, but no actual like sizes of wrenches or nothing. So you kind of have to guess, guess it. And for some people that they aren't, some of them, some of those people out there that are not very handy might have a hard time with that. But anyhow, that screw that you see right here that mounts the boxing bob to the actual mount, I didn't get. It was not included, so it's missing some hardware. So there's a machine screw that should have gone in there. So I ended up having to go to Home Depot to get my own screw. And then it included these expansion um, anchors, which I'm not sure if these are supposed to mount in a drywall or in a wood, but I ended up using four inch lag bolts, which are better. So again, hardware that doesn't work and hardware that's missing is a big no-no. Um, the big drawback with this I find is it's not mobile, meaning that you have to permanently fix this to your wall in your home. And that's not an option for everybody. Some people live in an apartment, maybe they don't have a garage, and or they just don't want to modify their home and, and mounting it to the wall is not an option. So that is one big drawback compared to like the Century Bob where you can just fill the base up and kind of move it where you need to. Um, with this, you can't. And mounting it, you may have to definitely make sure it's secure. Um, I ended up going in through the studs in my wall. So I have one stud right here that goes vertically and one stud right here that goes vertically as well. So I attached a two by four with four inch lag bolts with washers. That way, when you hit this, if you're hitting it with like a hook, you're going to get a lot of flex from the power of your shot. And that's what this horizontal bracket's for. Um, and then the vertical bracket, obviously for uppercuts, straight shots, everything is supposed to hold it secure. Well, I'm not really sure why they didn't do this, but I'm not sure why they didn't just expand another bracket out this way to kind of make it a cross. And they only have a bracket on this side, and I think that's just kind of a, a crappy design to where, you know, if you hit it, you know, horizontally with a left hook or a right hook, you have flex. So to me, it would have made sense if they just made a T right there to make it a cross brace. But I used three inch lag bolts on that with washers and for the bottom as well. So you can see, two layers for both the top and bottom part of the bracket. It's all steel, so the bracket itself is, is nice and sturdy. It's not cheap. The welds aren't the best at all. Um, you can see the welding job on here. Looks like it was done by somebody with no welding skills. I mean, you can see how, how crappy that is, but this is made, made in China. It looks like it's, you know, kind of just thrown together, but it is what it is. As long as it holds up, I won't complain. And then here's the actual compression spring. So that's pretty much it. $299 with free shipping through Inalife or Amazon. Um, it does have, a, again, a couple drawbacks. I'm missing some hardware. Instructions were kind of crappy. The anchors that it came with were kind of pointless. And then the bracket quality is kind of eh, so-so. And I feel like they should have a T that goes across so you brace it on all ends, not just on one side and just the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and do the review and show you how this thing works. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today we're gonna to do a review on this Inalife boxing dummy, is basically the boxing bob. And before we do the review, I just wanna show you guys how I mount this onto this bracket. Like I got, showed you guys earlier in the close-up, it uses this L bracket that I mounted to the wooden studs of my wall in my garage. I use a couple two by fours vertically that way it offers better support, especially when you start hitting this, you really want to have good support before you start hitting this, otherwise it'll rip it right out of the wall. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's really important that you either use wooden stud 
or some kind of masonry, like a concrete wall to mount this too. It's not gonna go just into drywall. So obviously that might not be an option for you guys. You guys might stop watching at this point and say, hey, that's not gonna work for me. Uh, but for those of you that are interested, keep watching. I'll show you guys how to install it. And when I start punching it, kind of give you guys an idea of how this thing performs and whether or not it's worth it uh, compared to uh, other boxing bop type uh, punching bags are out in the market. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. This basically lifts up. I'd say this thing weighs about maybe 30 pounds. If so, maybe 25, 30 pounds. And then right here at the bottom, it just has obviously the, the circle, the circular opening. And then it was missing, missing some screws right here. So I got myself some machine screws from Home Depot with a couple of nuts and washers. So it basically just slides onto the bra onto this uh, bracket, just like that. So there you have it. Obviously I used a measuring tape and a level just to make sure it's kind of the right height. It's about the same height as me. That way, you know, when I'm hitting this with my straight punches, jabs and crosses, I'm um, keeping my, my pad level, level if you want to call it, and that's a, kind of a, a football term. And then from there, I basically just used a machine screw and a washer that I got. And again, that was kind of a kind of an opportunity on their, their end. They, they were missing some hardware. And uh, I'm just using a washer, a nut, and a lock washer on the back side to tighten everything down. Basically just finger tighten everything. Then I just have my drill just to make sure it's nice and secure. That's pretty much it. So everything is nice and secure now. You can see that it's not going anywhere. That compression spring basically acts as a buffer for your shot. So when you're hitting this with power, whether it's like hooks, straight punches, you have that flexibility. And again, that's why it was super important that you have it mounted to something very secure in the wall, like your studs or something concrete. Otherwise, it'll literally rip this thing out right out of the wall. So you can see there, that's the setup. And it takes pretty good shots as long as, again, you mount it properly. So you can see it could take some pretty good shots. Um, I would say that this is really good, especially for those of you that really want to simulate kind of placing your shots. That's something you can't really get with a heavy bag that you can get with this. So whether you're aiming for like the solar plexus, liver shots, going for the hooks to the chin, or to the side of the head, to your neck, working angles, so slipping, or pivoting out it's really nice in that regard the other thing about this bracket that's really nice too is that this sticks out about two feet from the wall so you have enough space to kind of get around it i'm actually behind it right now so you have space to work to the side you don't have to just stand in front of it and hit it you can actually you know set up combos and then step out work hook to the body hook up top or hook, uppercut. So it's really realistic compared to a heavy bag because you're placing your shots like you are in a human body, uh, which you can't really duplicate on a heavy bag, especially where the torso is at and underneath the arms. You know, typically you'll have arms down here, but when you're trying to throw a hook, obviously you're trying to get around it. So this really helps you with placement with your shots. To the hook, 
the consistency of it's pretty firm. I mean, it's not like hitting, a, you know, something rock solid, but there's some give to it. You know, it's all made out of rubber. So it's pretty, you know, pretty much a rubberized punching bag. And then, you know, when you hit up the top here, it does have a little bit more give the higher up it goes because you're getting away from that compression spring. So you see it does have some bounce to it when you hit it, uh, which is good. It offers some flexibility and that kind of takes the power of your shot away from actually going all the way to the studs in your wall or the concrete, wherever you have it mounted. Um, but again, I like the fact that you can simulate punching a, a real body rather than doing it on the heavy bag. So for uppercuts, you can simulate getting them right underneath the chin. Same thing with getting a punch underneath and lifting up the nose. So a lot of good different variety of shots you can practice on that you typically wouldn't be able to do with the heavy bag. So definitely I like that part of it. Whether or not this is worth $299 is the big question. Um, honestly, at this point, I can't really see myself paying 300 bucks for this. The reason I say that is one, the instructions were pretty crappy. Two, it was missing some hardware. And three, the bracket quality could be definitely improved. And I feel that you really cut out the amount of people that can purchase this by having to mount this permanently to your wall. Now, if you're a gym owner or if you have a garage and you don't mind mounting this permanently to your wall, then that's great. But I feel that if you can get like the Century version, which I think is like 300 $49, I think they're even like $299, so they're around the same price, maybe plus 25 to 50 bucks for the Century Bob version, but at least that comes with the base and you can move it. So you can like empty, you know, fill the base up with water or sand, and then when you're not using it, empty it out, or you can move it around. So that gives you a lot more flexibility in, in the fact that you can move it around your home, you can have it in your apartment, and you're still doing the same thing you are with this and you don't have to worry about actually mounting it to the wall. So I feel that's a, kind of a big opportunity with this, um, especially at the price point. I just feel like the bracket could be better quality, the instructions should be better quality, and it shouldn't be missing any hardware. So just definitely some quality control things there that I would be a little bit more mindful of with this product. The actual boxing dummy itself is really nice. I mean, to me, this is the, almost exactly the same as the boxing bob, same kind of rubber material here, same, pretty much the same face, I think. Maybe he, maybe boxing bob has hair. I think he has hair. This guy's completely bald, I don't know. Not that it matters, but, so it's essentially the same. So this is good. I mean, I think this is great. I think this is good quality. It's gonna hold up. Just kind of everything from the torso and down is an issue. And for the price being around the same as the Century Bob, um, that's going to be kind of a tough sell in my opinion. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments about this boxing dummy, make sure you guys link down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can get this in a life boxing dummy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.